Welcome to the Motley Fool's Crunch Time series, where we scout out a single company from their story to their opportunities and risk. I'll start with my prediction. I believe Wolfspeed will underperform the market over the next five years. Let's jump in. Wolfspeed is a pioneer in silicon carbide technology, producing semiconductors for electric vehicles, industrial energy, and power applications. Their core business revolves around developing silicon carbide substrates and power devices primarily for EV drivetrains, which make up 60-70% to 70 of the silicon carbide market. By transitioning all production to 200mm wafers at their Mohawk Valley facility, Wolfspeed is reducing cost and increasing capacity. However, this strategy comes with significant execution risk. The opportunities are massive. The shift to EV presents a notable growth opportunity for Wolfspeed. Industry experts project compounded annual growth rate of 30% in EVs between now and 2030. Wolfspeed chips integral to EV powertrains are already featured in many models, with an anticipated 75% increase in 2025 alone. Also, its manufacturing plants continue to grow in operations. The growth in utilization rates can be a massive boost to margins, which are currently extremely weak. Beyond EVs, Wolfspeed has potential in industrial energy applications like data centers, AI, energy storage, and aviations. These sectors are set to benefit from silicon carbide's efficiency and scalability as electrification expands globally. Additionally, government support through initiatives like the CHIPS Act provide Wolfspeed with up to $2.5 billion in funding, enabling capacity expansion and innovation. However, these opportunities hinge heavily on Wolfspeed's ability to execute flawlessly, which remain uncertain given their financial and operation constraints. Financially, the company is not yet profitable and is navigating heavy restructuring costs. While its $1.7 billion cash position and CHIPS Act funding provide a cushion, further equity raises and convertible debt refinances pose risk to shareholder value, especially the over $6 billion in long-term debt and current negative free cash flow. And all this can continue to spell trouble if market conditions continue to be weak. Competition is another wild card. Wolfspeed's success has spurred established semiconductor manufacturers to explore their own silicon carbide solutions. While Wolfspeed has a head start, China's domestic silicon carbide efforts could introduce lower cost alternative. Finally, operation hiccups may continue. Each advanced fab they build comes with multi-year ramp. Yields may be lower than planned, leading to higher than expected underutilization costs, potentially dragging down margins for longer than the market anticipates. As impressive as silicon carbide technology can be, I see Wolfspeed's short-term to medium-term risk outweigh its promise. Over the next five years, I expect annualized returns around 2 to 4%. To recap, Wolfspeed business strategy is anchored in silicon carbide, its growth opportunities hinges on EV market traction and industrial power needs, but the main risk, ballooning debt, potential demand shortfalls, stiff competition, and major execution challenges are significant. Therefore, I'm projecting Wolfspeed to lag the market with modest annual returns near 2 to 4%. At The Motley Fool, your comments make us all smarter. Please comment with your own research and insight about Wolfspeed and tell us what stock you want to see Crunch Time tackle next. Visit fool.com invest to receive the top 10 best stocks to buy now.